Hi guys, I'm here in Corona, Queens. That's right, Corona, Queens. I'm here where the Mets play baseball. That's City Field, uh, what I was, you were just looking at over there. Um, the Mets do play baseball there, and right next to City Field, for those who are not New Yorkers, is what's called Willits Point, uh, which is an area of Queens called, that's nicknamed the Iron Triangle. Why? Because it's, tri it's a triangular-shaped plot of land where pretty much all stolen cars end up to be chopped apart in chop shops. And if you look around, it's pretty scenic. I mean, we have garbage on all sides. We have leftover car parts straight over there. And uh, it's quite post-apocalyptic. That's the honest truth. The roads here are nuts. So we're going to take a tour of the Iron Triangle. For those who don't know, this, this is the last part of New York City that doesn't have underground plumbing or sewage. So when it rains, it just simply puddles up on the ground. And you can imagine um, there are no bathrooms, period. It just doesn't exist. So we're going to take a tour. The roads here are full of potholes and everything. It's quite wild. Check this out. Yeah. Forgot to mention one key factor. In the Iron Triangle, it's really old school. There are going to be people who come up to the car and say, What you need? What you need? And that's because they want to work on your car and they're offering you services. They're not coming up like to sell drugs or do anything illegal. Although they are probably all illegal workers, but that's a different story. Uh, but it's totally safe here, despite how it looks. It looks freaky deaky. Um, but nah, they're actually really nice people. And after after a while coming here, I've been coming here for years, uh, you start to see the same people. And uh, they're here for years, they know you, and it's all good. But it is freaky when you've never seen it before. Check this out. triangle there's exactly one place that's zoned for residential use and it has one residence that's right the entire Willits Point has exactly one person living in it and he lives right here in this house we're about to drive past down here gigantic so this here is his house. This is the one and only res residentially zoned house in all of Willits Point. There's an old man who lives there and refuses to leave, so I've been told. He's a, something like in his 80s, and uh, he don't want to give this place up, which is understandable, I guess, if you want to live around that. I am in the Iron Triangle and I actually can't pass the street because there's just too gigantic of a puddle in there. Uh, garbage in the way up here, so I'm just driving straight down the sidewalk, which isn't that much better. Oh man, look at that. Look at that old car there, graffiti on it. This is place is bonkers and I love it. Yeah, this car ain't getting through that. That's that's just that's just not happening. Not in this car. Oh man, you need like Hummer or something. To make it through these potholes. Right here, Bobby. Look, right this way, right here, Bobby. Right here. I right, so apparently no one's coming up to the car because they see the camera sticking out the top of the sunroof and. Uh, fail I guess in that department but if I hadn't had that they'd be walking up and go what you need what you need after every single person who you saw standing in the street would be doing that towards the far end of the iron triangle which I believe is the northern point um, there's also the garbage depot where the garbage trucks park for the night and man it stinks on this side uh, it's also uh, got areas that are marked as being contaminated land and caution and toxic waste and whatever other nastiness. There's also no real uh, road rules here. I mean, you could just kind of drive where you want. Uh, I'm told from my friends who are Indian that in India it's kind of like that everywhere. But here, this is New York City, and this is about the only place that's like that. <laughs> The interesting thing about the Iron Triangle is it's right next to City Field where the baseball uh, Mets play baseball. 
and it's not just next to it. I mean, that's literally the field. That's the Iron Triangle. There, there's just like not even a barrier between the two. Check it out. And uh, I'm actually trapped in the car because I can't cross that. That's just too deep uh, for the puddle. So I'm gonna turn around here, but. This is bonkers. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with the area, it's all filled with cars that people uh, repair or strip for parts. And pretty much all the stolen cars in New York end up here and everybody knows it and no one seems to be able to do anything about it. Yo, 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 yo,